welcome to my channel, my closet, my office, this room that I hide out in. Um, today I am going to share my favorite vintage and the quotation marks are because uh, there might not be true vintage. They might just look vintage and I also, apparently, we are calling things from the 80s and 90s vintage now, so there's that. So, these are my favorite vintage thrift finds. Some of them are not from a thrift store. Some of them I found at yard sales or flea markets. Um... I think that's everything. I'm trying to think if there was any other places where I may have gotten. I don't think so. I think that's it. Anyway, it is a gray dreary day out, but I have my window open and I have a light here. So hopefully you can see. Anyway, let's get started. Yeah. So there are a few clothing items and a few bags, actually. Surprisingly, I still love to collect bags. Um, so I'm just going to start with the first thing I put my hand on right here. This is a velvet, um, blazer and it is, I think seventies or eighties. Um, I got this off, I'm not sure if it was Poshmark. It might've been eBay. Anyway, it is vintage and I did get it secondhand. Um, you can tell by the tag right there. That is definitely vintage. Um, Marjorie Hamilton, made in Canada. It is velvet. Um, it's slightly too big, so I kind of, like, I, I was kind of boxy. So I feel like I want one of those, like, link. Remember those things? I, I remember we used to get them in the 90s. They had, like, suspender clips on two ends, but it was short, and you could, like, cinch things. Anyway, that's what I need for this. Um... But there's no label or anything on the inside of the jacket. It's just up there. But yes, I love this one. It is classic, never go out of style, velvet black blazer. <clears throat> so um, on the same kind of vein, this is, I'm thinking 90s, maybe 80s, Northern Reflections. Um, which was very big in the eighties. So it could have been, um, eighties, but anyway, it is a corduroy vest waistcoat thing in black. It has this like, um, thing in the back with buttons. Um, can you see there's so much black? I shouldn't have been wearing black today. Um, but anyway, this I love because it kind of does a corseting kind of cinching around the waist when I wear it. Um, it is corduroy, so it's not exactly spring summer, but I love it. So there's that. Uh, this is actual vintage that I found at a Salvation Army store, uh, in Pasadena. So this is a local find, but it is this. Salvation Army cape. Um, it is this nurse's cape. So this is, um, you can tell by the letters there, something, something hospital. I'm assuming that was what that meant. Um, it is a nurse's cape. It has the red lining. Um, it buttons on both sides. So like you can take the tabs and button them both sides. I actually thought about wearing it with the tab, um, cause you can take it off both sides with the red side out just for kind of interest. But this says on the tag, uh, nurses uniform co 1822 East Monument street, Baltimore, Maryland, sis, I think that says sis Hopkins as in like sister Hopkins. And it's just, it's just beautiful. It's wool. It's very warm. I do wear it in the winter. I love it. Um, wish I could, I don't know, maybe I could wear it reversed for the red side out. You can't really button it 
but way but little red riding hood i absolutely love this thing this is one of my absolute favorite thrift finds ever um it's actually a really cool um outfit that carrie bradshaw wears in season four of the original sex in the city where she wears this exact nurse's cape so there's that i love it so um, this is not vintage. Um, it might have been like 10, 15, 20 years ago vintage, but it looks vintage. It is from Anthropology, which is kind of cool. It is this, and it still has the tag on it from Valley Village. Um, it's Maeve, M-A-E-V-E, -E, <laughs> M-A-E-V-E -E by Anthropology. I'll take this tag off. Um, I haven't worn it yet, which is why I bought it last summer. Um, it is this gorgeous navy blue, white dotted, very 40s looking dress. Um, I, I, it is a little big, but you know, nothing a belt can't fix. But I absolutely adore it. And again, it looks vintage, but it is um, anthropology, which I never ever looked up what this dress might have cost because anthropology ain't cheap. But I love it. Um, haven't had a chance to wear it yet. It's very stretchy too. So that was a last summer find that I'm hoping to wear this summer. Um, another cape, actually. I have worn this in some outfit videos. I did a vintage fall lookbook. Um, I will link that. I think I have it. Um, it is this blue and gold, I think. Like it's it's navy blue and this kind of yellowy gold greeny it looks kind of green but it's not it's yellow um cape with the arm slats if you will shorter than the other one um i love this thing the lining is gorgeous uh the tag says outer shell 100 percent wool but there's no like label it just you know has what it's made out of and i love this thing and i will treasure it for as long as i can okay now i'm going to show you some bags so this is a vintage coach bag um, it is leather. I have worn this to death. I absolutely adore it. I got it at uh, Model Citizens, which is a secondhand resale boutique in St. John's. I'll actually link them below. Um, I got this years ago before I had kids. It's old. It's not like 1940s, 50s old. It's probably 70s, 80s old. Um, maybe even 90s old like there's no lining it's just leather but i love this thing so this does qualify as vintage um but you know not old old but i love it another a brown leather bag because i have a thing for brown leather bags is this satchel now i got this last year um at a salvation army local one i think um, there was no long strap. There was supposed to be, like, there's supposed to be a long strap, but it's just got one handle. Kind of resembles a doctor's bag slightly. I have no idea how old it is. Um, it kind of has some pin marks there. But, again, there's, the lining is slightly, there's, like, a little bit of lining on the front part, and it's, like, slightly ripped there. There's no label of any kind that I could find. I mean, you can tell it's not too too old and the, like the zip zippers are not metal they're plastic or whatever that is they're like usually if it's really old you can tell like they're metal zippers but you know it has that look it's worn um i haven't used it because i don't know how it's kind of heavy on its own so putting stuff in it will be heavier but i just really love the look of it so i might just use it like for decor or something but i love it two more bags not not i would ever use these but i do use them in decor this you've probably seen before 
It is this briefcase but thicker style suitcase type thing and I've used it in um, decor videos and I took it apart from my decor to show it to you but it has this cool like floral uh, no it's not floral it's um four leaf clovers on the inside and I definitely use this for decor I open it up and it's on my card catalog um in my living room and I put books in it and flowers and you know all that stuff so I need to restyle it for spring and summer because I haven't done that yet so I thought I would take it apart show you this came from a garage sale um a couple summers ago and yeah I it was kind of like a last minute spot on the way out I was like oh I have to have it and I have used it a lot uh another yard sale find is this old it's caved in here and I'm, i gotta figure out how to pop that out but maybe i just need to put some stuff in it um air canada bag from the 60s i know it's from the 60s because my mother worked for air canada starting in 1963 64. so um i know this is vintage from the 60s um it has metal it has metal zippers uh, there is just the top handle. I, there is a, no, I was going to say there's a loop that there was a shoulder strap, but nope, just the handle. That's it. Um, and it has the metal feet on the bottom. Right now I have some like costume pieces put in there to try and push this out. Um, but I kind of just love it. I love it. Uh, I have never used it and probably will never use it. But I kind of had to buy it just for my mom's sake, really. I might give it to her at some point, but we shall see. Okay, so the last couple of things are just like items. I um, have this beautiful card catalog that I got at a garage sale, literally across the road from my house. Um, I'll show you a picture because I didn't want to bring it up. It's fairly large. It's like a four drawer card catalog from a library or an office or something it's really old it's from i think she said the 20s or 30s um when i bought it uh i love card catalogs i don't know what it is about it i love library stuff card catalogs i'm not a big reader i i love books to look at them but i'm not a huge reader weird hey so my last two things uh this set which is a hairbrush mirror set that TJ gave me. It's made in England. The sticker's still on it. It's, I don't think it's terribly old. Um, the cross stitch in the back is um, like a picture. It's not actually cross stitch, uh, but it's an amazing shape. And um, like it has the wood here for the bristles. Um, I don't really know what the bristles are made out of, but I think this is gorgeous and I love it and I need to find space to display it on my dresser because um, right now I have it tucked away but I just I think this is beautiful that I'm sure I'll think of other things um, once I've finished this video as I was trying stuff on I realized um, there was something I forgot to show you and it's this really cool train case I totally forgot about this I got this at a thrift store um, it's I'm thinking 50s maybe even 40s although the hardware is really good so um there the lining is missing the whole lining of the inside was ripped out so i don't know what happened there but i use it to store my um fancy under things and i can't do it back up okay Anyway, how cool is that? Like, it's in such amazing condition. I knew I'd forget something. Um, things that I have thrifted that are vintage. <laughs> uh, either look vintage, are vintage replicas, or actually are vintage. But um, we also kind of fudged the boundaries there with the 80s and 90s stuff. But that's okay. Apparently that's vintage now. Who knew? Um, I hope you're having a great day. Let me know in the comments of any of your fun vintage thrifted finds. I'd love to know. I am constantly looking for 
uh, vintage or vintage inspired things because, you know, I'm an old soul. I um, hope you're having a great day and happy thrifting if you're out there. Good luck to you. See you in the next one. Bye.